Hi guys, it's Sam from Bar and Hunting Blonde and I'm super excited to be here with you guys today to do my first ever YouTube video. So I've been wanting to do this video for a really long time. I went to London in March and you guys will know this if you follow me on Instagram and I have waited to unbox some of these items since March. So I've really been holding out to get everything together and to start my YouTube channel. So without further ado, let's get started. So first off is this goodie from Longchamp, which I think that's how you pronounce it, but I could be saying it wrong. I'm notoriously bad for pronouncing things. So first off, we have this little guy, and I'm not actually going to open it, but it's a specific special cleaner just for their Le Pillage bags, which I'm sure I'm butchering how you say that, but just for those bags. So the bags that aren't leather, but are more of their coated canvas. And special cleaner for that, so I have one that does have a white stripe on it, and it gets really, really dirty, so I'm super excited to try this product, and it was really reasonable. It was under $10, so excited about that. And then you guys will have seen this if you follow me on Instagram, but I got for myself a khaki medium-sized Big Ben. You guys can see there. So I really love these bags for when it rains. Um, for putting other bags in when I travel. They're just super, super durable. Like this is the bag I bring to a ball game and I know it's gonna be fine. And if you guys, you know, sometimes the corners wear out, but uh, the store will fix them. And I was talking to one of the great sales associates in London and she was telling me how, just take it back into the store. For me, there's one in San Francisco. And as long as they're small enough, like if you start seeing a hole, take it in. Because if it gets bigger than like the size of like a dime, they can't fix it. So it's just something to keep in mind and something that's really great of their service and their quality that they'll they'll fix them for you. Also, the bags that have these little places on them are only available either at the place, like in the store, and I heard they're discontinuing them, or on the pre-loved market. So there's a Statue of Liberty one, you need to be in New York to get that. There is a Eiffel Tower one, which I bought last time I was in Paris. So something to keep in mind if you're traveling. They're kind of a fun souvenir to pick up that you'll actually use. So next is a small leather good that I have been looking for in the United States for a really, really long time and have only seen them on the pre-loved market for more than they go for from Louis Vuitton. So when I got to London and I was on New Bond Street and I was in there at Louis Vuitton and I, they didn't have it, but the sales associate was super helpful and looked at every single Louis Vuitton in London and was like, okay, so the city store has one left. She's like, we can't put it on hold for you, but you can try going there tomorrow. You know, here's the time they open. And I actually didn't make it the next day. So I was like, okay, this is going to be gone, but I'm going to stop by the store. It was really close. I was visiting a friend. It was super close to her office. So I stopped by and I, of course, seemed to be in there. There should have been no one in there, but there's a billion people in there. Super nice security guard, probably the nicest person I've ever encountered at Louis Vuitton. His name was Tack. He was great chatted with him for a long while, finally got help, and they actually had this piece. So let me show you guys what it is. Also, I have not used it or unboxed it, but when I was going through Heathrow Airport, the security made me show them what it was. I don't know what they thought it was, but I had to show them. So as you guys know, the Louis Vuitton little dust bags, I don't know why, I love them. I think they're the cutest things ever. So this is it. This is the multi-cart and the zippy one. So it has a nice little zipper and it opens up accordion style. And as you guys can see, this is the beautiful one with the uh, dark pink interior. I have literally been looking for this everywhere and I had seen one a long time ago in the Louis Vuitton in Palo Alto and I didn't buy it. And after that it haunted me. So I was super excited to find this little guy. Um, also being in London where the value of the pound has dropped and I get my VAT taxes back it was way, way less than it cost in the pre-love market. So you guys can see, it is just the monogram canvas all around with a little zipper pull and it is just fabulous. It fits in all your, you know, little mini bags and it holds a ton. And since it has a zipper, nothing's gonna fall out of it. So I really like that. So we will move on to a bag you will have seen if you follow me on Instagram because I carry it a lot. Um, and I love Celine, so this has to do with that. So, Celine dust bag, you guys can see it there, it's kind of big. Um, I, for some reason, have never gotten a box at Celine. I don't know if they do boxes or not, or they know I'm traveling, so I never get one. Um, but I've never gotten a box. I get bags, but never a box. So this right here 
is my micro belt bag in a like beige taupe color. I was deciding between this one and the color they call clay, which is another beige, but a lot more of a blue beige um, and not as warm of a color. So it's kind of a big decision for me which one I was gonna get and I settled on this one. And I also liked that they had a couple versions of this one so I could pick the best one. Um, the sales associate was super helpful. And this is the medium size one. So at one point they made what they considered a small. They no longer make that. You can find it on the pre-loved market. The sizes they do make is they make a mini, which I do have in a dark gray, the micro, which is this, and they just released a nano. The nano is really cute, but it was a little too small for me. Um, I just love how, you know, these bags are so simple, but so beautiful. And the drummed catskin is amazing. You guys can see it there, like the color and the little Celine logo right there. So it's just a really great bag and it's a great size and it does have a longer crossbody strap, which the Nano does, but the Mini does not. So that's why this was a great size for me. So next, another SLG. So I, this one, as you guys can see, I literally have not opened it yet. There's, you know, the ribbon. I didn't have to open it at Heathrow Airport, I guess. This one wasn't as sketchy. So I was actually gonna purchase this at Harrods and I looked at three or four of them and they were all damaged. Even the sales associate was like, oh wow, I yeah, all of these have like stitching issues or button issues. And I was like, okay, well, I'm not gonna buy something that's brand new that has issues even though I really wanted it. So let's open this guy. Another little dust bag, not quite as small as the Zippy multi cart, but still small. So this, guys, is my monogram with Rose Ballerine interior, Louis Vuitton, Victorine wallet. And I have been eyeing this since I was in Paris, actually this time last year. And I had decided to go for a different, bigger wallet and was kind of regretting it because I needed something smaller to fit in a lot of the mini bags that I have been acquiring. And I'm normally a big bag person, but I've really been loving the mini bag trend. So this is a mini wallet without feeling like a mini wallet, which is why I loved it. So you have, in here you have six card slots. I don't know if you guys can see that. You also have a zippered coin pocket, which is really great because it allows you to put your coins in here without them falling out. You also have back here, like a little cash pocket. You don't even have to hold up your cash. You can put receipts and a bunch of other stuff in it. And then all of these have uh, little slip pockets. So you can put a ton of stuff in this wallet. I mean, like literally this wallet basically holds what my full size uh, zippy wallets hold, but it is very, very small. And I love, there's so many um, prints now. They do them in the Damier Abin. They do them in the Damier Azor, the Monogram. They have a bunch of different colors. I mean, it's just such a pretty piece. It's this guy and I had not opened that yet so I'm really excited to use it. I have been, like I said, acquiring a lot of mini bags and I definitely need something to go in them. And lastly, one second, it's going to take me a little bit to big box. There is this beauty. So I don't know if you guys can see the box. I had a fabulous sales associate when I was at the Gucci um, by New Bond Street. I don't think Gucci's actually on New Bond Street, but it might be. Um, he was great. I went in one day and I was having this issue where I just could not decide between a couple different purses. And I was like, okay, Sam, you are not buying like 10 Gucci purses. This is not happening. So I had him put a couple on hold and I was like, I'm going to be back tomorrow. And I'm sure sales associates hear that all the time, but I was being serious. I was coming back tomorrow. So he put it on hold for me and I came back and I decided which model I wanted, but the one that I was looking at actually had a little bit of damage to it. So he went and got one that literally had never ever been touched. And then when he was boxing it up, he knew I was traveling, but he was like, I'm gonna give you this great, beautiful box. Um, Cause most of the time, you guys can see it back there. You get a Gucci box like that, which is still very beautiful, but I just love the artwork on this. So let's get to unboxing this cause I really want loud noise. Oh, it's even got the blue tissue paper, which is not what I was expecting. 
you guys can see the bag is not that big. That was just a, a really, really big box and it was a beautiful box. So I really appreciate them giving it to me. So he also knew I was traveling and he really, really heavily uh, packaged it, which I really, really appreciated because I did not uh, want to hurt the bag in the process. You guys might be able to see a little bit of what it is. So this baby right here is the medium size Gucci Mama flat bag in the porcelain rose or the beige. I've seen it called a couple different colors depending on where you're looking at it. So it has the antique gold hardware, uh, just like my Gucci belt does and my Gucci loafers. And it is the medium. So it is the slightly bigger one. A lot of people have the small, but I am a really big person. So a 5'10", so I can definitely, uh, get away with a much bigger bag than a lot of people can. Uh, it does have the heart on the back, which I'm not the biggest fan of, and I actually love that my small camera bag, which is in that box right there, has the GGs on the back. The heart seems a little immature to me, but I couldn't pass up this bag because it had a heart on the back, because let's be real, I'm never gonna wear it that way. So as you guys can see, I mean, it still has all the packaging on it. I had literally had not taken it out. Um, just such a beautiful bag and such a big bag, actually. Let me take out the stuff and see if you guys can see where it fits. So, you can see it in there. Just the microfiber lining on the inside. So this bag will literally fit my full-size wallet. Uh, it will also fit my two phones. So I do have a work phone and a personal iPhone. Um, and I also carry a lot of times other things besides my wallet, kind of like wristlets and catch-alls and mini pouchettes and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to be using this bag. I finally got to unbox it and I'm super excited about that. So if you guys liked this haul, please follow me on YouTube. So I'm gonna be hopefully doing about one video a week. Also, please follow me on Instagram if you don't already. I post a lot of uh, bags on there. I also post when I have blog posts with different bag reviews. I'm just really into luxury goods, especially handbags. Handbags are really my thing and I do not like paying retail for most of them hence why this baby was bought in London because I got the bat back and because the difference between the pound and the dollar is a lot closer than it used to be so this is actually a really great deal um, so buying it brand new and still getting quite a couple hundred dollars off was fabulous so either follow me or both follow me on Instagram and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and if you have any requests for videos you want to see, I've already gotten some from followers on Instagram. Make sure to put them in the comment box down below. Thank you so much and have a great day.